today we're going to find out who is better at identifying mushrooms, AI or Estonians. No one knows mushrooms better than the Estonians because Estonia is one of the best places in the world uh, to forage for mushrooms. There's about 4,000, I think, species here of mushrooms. And of that, I think about 60 are considered edible. Uh, so there's a lot more you can't eat. This is eatable. So the AI says this is considered inedible, but uh, in Estonia, we do consider it edible. What's interesting is that edible isn't actually as easy to define as you might think. It's partly cultural about what tastes right, um, but it's also about you need to have the right knowledge to know how to prepare and in some cases how to consume these mushrooms. So there's one type of mushroom here, for example, that uh, is really dangerous if you consume it with alcohol. But if you don't drink alcohol with it, then uh, it's fine. It, it tastes very garlicky. Um, so edible is very much a cultural, subjective, uh, very much a human thing. Um, and it varies from country to country, from culture to culture. Here in Estonia, there's a lot of mushrooms that are considered edible that aren't considered edible in other countries. Um, so the AI is very useful for, um, for giving lots of extra information, but it, it can't ultimately make that final decision about what, for example, is edible. Death Angel, extremely toxic. This is my neri sikas. Sa saad neid süüa, need on väga maitsevad marineeritud. So, the app didn't identify this one first time, but you did. Yes. Uh -huh. You know, people are always uh, more clever than apps. Yes. <laughs> The app actually does a really good job of identifying mushrooms and providing lots more information about them. Although I'm going to give it to the Estonians who were able to identify more uh, on the first guess, whereas the AI would sometimes give multiple options and sometimes it would be the uh, second answer. And you do still need that human cultural knowledge uh, when it comes to deciding what to do with these mushrooms. So. You know, it's not really a competition between humans and AI. And I'm not just talking about this AI for mushrooms. The best of AI is about augmenting human skills, extending human capabilities, uh, complementing our knowledge, whether it's in the forest or at home or at work. We've got a great future if we know how to make the most out of human AI collaboration. Right, we're going to head home and uh, have some of these mushrooms. Uh, for most of them, I think particularly the chanterelles, what's best is uh, fry it in lots of butter, then add cream and some herbs, and then uh, serve it with mulgi puda, which is like uh, mashed potatoes and barley oats mixed with sauna-smoked pork, um, and it's absolutely delicious. Oh.